this is the tarp tent that I built about a year ago. It's uh, made out of uh, uh, silk poly, polyester fabric. I designed it to go over a pup style type tent. Um, the tents we were using weren't very water resistant, so we were using at the time a sheet of Tyvek over the top of those pup tents to stay dry. So I, <clears throat> I made this to replace those Tyvek covers and it's done quite well. Um, but after a year of testing, there's a couple of things that I want to do different. So inside here is a pup tent style uh, screen mesh on a uh, bathtub style nylon floor. Just an A-frame type pup tent style screen mesh. It does have a solid back wall to keep breezes from coming through, but the rest of it's just this screen. So the way I designed this tent, it's held up by trekking poles at its two positions here, one in the front, one in the back. But I can raise the strings on the side and actually bring this tent up and really increase that ventilation around the edge. And then the tent hangs and suspends inside that. So this will actually stand on its own and the fabric, this tent will actually stand on its own if you don't want the screen. I typically like to keep bugs off my face when I sleep. So that's why I use this screen and not just a plain old tarp tent. So as for the things that I'd like to change for myself, this zipper, it's a nice zipper, but it ends up being really low. Um, and for climbing in and out, especially if if you have more than one person in here. It's a tight squeeze getting in and out of this vestibule area. So I'd like to basically eliminate these ends that I've put on here. I'd like to still have a vestibule without these being permanent. So my plan is to make a tarp and this whole part on the front um, in some way or another just snap in probably. Again, I want more functionality, still be able to use either this mesh tent or even our old pup st tent style tents. For like a winter outing, you could have a two layer and a, and a pup tent fabric here instead of this screen. <laughs>
this is what I've come up with so far. Now, this tarp doesn't have all the tie outs that come on the store bought ones. Um, I'm eventually going to put the tie outs at basically the places that the store bought ones put them. But right now, I'm just putting tie outs in locations where I'm going to need them for the pitches that I'm going to use this tarp, especially over this screen tarp. And uh, the one back corners come loose, but you can see that if I wanted to lose the foot space in the back of that screen, I could essentially just drop that back and make a wedge pitch uh, real low to the ground. Uh, in the event there was a high wind coming, I could put the foot in down that way. A um, lot more uses out of a flexible tarp than one that already has the end sewn in and you're limited to the ways that you pitch it. So this is my first time I've pitched this tent outside, but with the lash out points where I have them now, it is reasonably windy, but I can, with a few more adjustments, get what once was a square tarp into a A-frame, A-frame sort of like an A-frame shelter that'll definitely keep me dry. And now this vestibule area is way easier to get in and out of. The pole's so much further than where the screen door is. I can't, I'm just now touching the screen door. So it's an arm's length away from where this pole stands. It's a lot more area. Now my plan is to make just a triangular piece that snaps in on this edge. That way I can close this totally off I can uh, block the breeze out of the front. I'll make, a, I'll make one for the back also. The one thing where this is gonna benefit over the last design is I will be able to leave this top. If I do my snaps the right way, I can just drape this top down and allow for a whole lot of that condensation um, to make its way out like a chimney because this end is about six inches higher than the other. So I should just have a natural flow of warm air, taking all that moisture out so it's not on your sleeping bag. And here inside the tent, there's even plenty of room on the sides to stash shoes or whatever gear that you have. Equal amount on both sides. Huge area for a vestibule.
here's what my end product is. I have a square tarp with lash out points that configures it to go over my mesh screen tent. I have these snap-in panels on the ends. This whole front end can be removed. I have snaps coming up to the top of the door so it can close off. I have this on both ends. So now I have a pretty wind resistant, but yet able if I want. I can create top ventilation to keep air flowing because heat always collects at the top anyway. But I can now create, create quite a, a draft through there if I want to. And still have a square, highly functional tarp able to use in other ways. And now I'm inside the vestibule area of this tent. As you can see, there's lots of headroom for me. I am on, I am down on one knee, um, but behind me, I can easily get to this door. I have plenty of room to take my shoes off, put them back on. If it's raining outside, I can easily climb in here, button everything up, and then climb into the tent. The screen right here beside me. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but I am thoroughly happy with what I've put together here. Um, if it were any easier, girls would be doing it. This was a <laughs> this was an easy project. It took a little while. It took some patience and some some planning, but uh, I'm very happy with what I have. So one thing I didn't say before, I was able to set up the tarp tent by itself first. And then from inside, I was able to erect the screen mesh tent without getting out. So if it's raining and you get to camp, you can pitch the tarp tent, climb inside, get everything organized a little bit, and then set up your mesh tent from inside where it's dry. Um, that's a bonus I really wasn't planning on.